Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the new AMD FX6300 Vichera CPU. We've been waiting so long now for these new FX processors and now they finally launched. These CPUs still use the AM3 Plus socket. Alright, but here's the box. Again we're looking at an AMD FX6 core processor, a black edition CPU so you can overclock it. On top you see it says FX6300 here and there also are some specifications. It looks like AMD decided to use the same box just like the last generation of FX CPUs because the design is identical, just the size of the box got smaller. On this side AMD tells you how good this processor does and here's the CPU itself inside the box. On the back of the box as always is a description in different languages. Now on the other side AMD basically wants you to combine this CPU with the AMD Radeon HD graphics cards and an AMD 9 series chipset. But let's open the box up and see what's inside. Alright here's the manual and warranty. Here's the stock cooler that comes with this CPU and it looks very basic. Thermal paste comes reapplied already and the fan uses a 4 pin fan connector. Here's the CPU with the sticker and the plastic protection. I'll take out the CPU so we can take a closer look at it. And there it is, it looks very nice and it already feels more powerful and like I've said before the AM3 Plus socket is still used as well as the same chipsets. That's why I installed this processor in the ASRock 990FX Extreme 3 motherboard and as for cooling I decided to go with the stock cooler. But now let's get to the specifications. The AMD FX6300 is a 6 core Vichera CPU that has a base clock of 3.5 GHz and a turbo clock of 4.1 GHz. It has a TDP of 95 watts and that's because the same old 32 nanometer architecture is still used. 6 MB of level 2 as well as 8 MB of level 3 cache is offered and this CPU also supports the old channel DDR3 1866 memory natively. In CPU-Z the processor gets detected without any problems. The voltage is very low, the latest instructions are used and to save energy the CPU will clock itself down to a lower clock speed on idle instead of constantly running at 3.5 GHz. This FX processor is a black edition one. This means it has an unlocked multiplier and therefore you can overclock the CPU very easily. As for the memory, I got 8GB of DDR3 2000MHz RAM installed but unfortunately I couldn't get it to run at the rated frequency without overclocking the platform. That's why I'm running this kit at 1866MHz. But 2133MHz shouldn't be a problem. Just the gap between so 2000MHz isn't supported. But let's move on to the benchmarks. So the AMD FX6300 CPU delivers amazing CPU performance for a price. It can't really be compared against Intel's processors because the performance is in between the Core i3 and i5 range. 
In terms of performance, it can't reach the Core i5 processors, but this FX CPU offers a lot more performance than the biggest Intel Core i3 processors while being cheaper at the same time. Overall, the rendering performance can be considered as pretty good. When it comes to gaming, well, sometimes this FX processor can fall back a bit, but I'm only talking of 3 to 5 FPS at max. In most cases, it keeps up with the competition and offers almost the same performance. Again, this FX6300 is cheaper than the Core i3 and it beats every i3 processor. The temperatures aren't high at all for a 6 core that is cooled down with the stock cooler. The AMD FX Share CPUs definitely run a lot cooler than Intel's Ivy Bridge CPUs. And that's why you have a lot of headroom for overclocking. This processor is fully unlocked and overclocking is made really easy and fun on this particular chip. The AMD FX6300 also makes a very stable impression to me and that's good. But still, this CPU also has a dark side and that would be the power consumption. Let's compare this FX6300 with the i5 3570K power consumption wise to make it look a little better at least. And on idle, this FX CPU consumes roughly 29% more power. When the CPU is on full load, that would be 27% more power. Well, overall that isn't that bad, but still keep in mind the performance lies in between the core i5 and i3 processors. But still, if you don't care that much about the power consumption and are an AMD fan, well, for the price you get great performance and AMD definitely improved over the previous generation FX processors. So in the end, I'd say this CPU is meant for the AMD enthusiasts that want great performance for the price. You can overclock the CPU very easily and what I really like is that you can still use your AIM3 Plus motherboard even with the same 990FX chipset as it still remains the flagship chipset model from AMD. The power consumption is higher when comparing this against Intel's processors but that's something you have to accept when using the CPU. Pros are amazing price performance ratio, the CPU is very stable, has some good temperatures, supports high frequency memory and has an unlocked multiplier and therefore it makes overclocking very easy. It's also good that the AM3 Plus socket and the 990FX chipset is still used. So if you have a motherboard from the last generation, you could just install the CPU and you're good to go without any limits. Of course you shouldn't forget to update the BIOS. For the cons I can only say one thing. The power consumption is too high. But other than that, it's an amazing CPU especially for its price. I give this processor a 9 out of 10 and would definitely recommend it for the price and if you don't care so much about the power consumption. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.